Things are about to get a little more country in here. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money. Facing one of the most talented in-ring competitors, but now also has to contend with Bailey's mean streak. Well, she is certainly going to have to tap into her ultra-aggressive side to overcome Bailey. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California. For anybody doubting Bailey's qualifications as a role model, look at what she has done with damage control. Io Sky, Dakota Kai, multiple time women's tag team champions. Look, there's no doubt Bailey has been a help for Dakota and Io, but she's also used them as shields and basically as backup to do her dirty work. Oh, relax, Saxton. They're simply giving their role model the respect she deserves. Well, damage control looks ready for a fight, but most likely not a fair one. Get ready for some higher learning. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing Chase University from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds. Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's list after tonight. Or else they'll be put on double secret probation. School jokes aside, this is a seriously competitive team. No doubt, Corey, and they're always focused on improving. She's already turned up to 11. You gotta do it! You gotta do it! Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well.
Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room. And their opponents, the team of Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start. And the countdown is almost over. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, the team of Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. The Vikings have arrived. They are ready for battle. And his opponent, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 305 pounds, Ivar. Hard to 
to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders, it was Monday. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers gain, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them.
Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Just look at the happy couple. Oh, do we have to? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia. The WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! So, someone called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day? So I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet, and they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. Beating the EST might just make you the new EST. 